just a reminder that this and all my other videos are made for adult doll collectors or adults buying dolls for others. This is not a video for children. Viewer discretion is advised. Thank you very much for listening. Hello Internet! My name is Kelsey, and welcome back to my closet, where today we're going to review my closet. Meaning, the Rainbow High Closet Playset. <laughs> Can you tell how long I've been waiting to do a closet in the closet kind of joke? So yes, I picked up the brand new $59.99 dollar playset from Target. And I was at work and I was on my break and I saw there was only one and I was like, okay, I can't wait until I get out of work. I want to make sure I have it. And they brought it out just like this without a bag. And it was so much thicker this way than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like the width of the front part where the clothes are here, but no, it's like a hefty, chonky thing. But it's so so cool. I mean, it doesn't even fit on the camera. It's so humongous. Let's do a quick overview of the outside here. It comes with this really pretty tag that says Rainbow High Deluxe Fashion Closet, but it's really nice and shiny. It's a nice thick paper board that they use for cardstock. On the back, it shows a picture of the closet open up and it says you can do 400 plus looks and it's attached with this really nice kind of rope. It's a shiny gold. I might even leave it on here because it just looks really, really fancy. Then we have the massive closet itself, which is of course clear. On the outside, you've got the little suitcase buckles. And what I never noticed until I had it up close is that there's little like suitcase stitching details around all the corners. I just love that. There's a handle at the top. It's stationary. It's gold. The little like studs on the ends have an RH. And then on the back, there is this big plate that says Rainbow High. And then of course at the bottom, we have a box kind of, it's more like a platform than anything. Um, this is the barcode, if anyone wants to try to find it at their local stores. So in the back here, if you pull down the cardboard a little bit, it's impossible to see really, but there is a little sticker that says open here. So this is where I'm going to open it. So now we've got to deal with all this tape. <laughs> this is from folding out the bottom of the box here. This is what it looks like after you remove the closet from the base piece. You could use this as like a display for your Rainbow High dolls to stand on. You could probably fit two or three Rainbow High stands on here. And after you pull out the outside plastic, you can open it. But you'll want to take this lock piece and uh, let's have a look at that. When you push it closed, it locks, but all you have to do is push this part that's actually a button here and it releases it and you can open it. If you're really worried about anyone stealing your Rainbow High clothes, this lock is not actually going to protect you. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, it is so big! So, so big. So there is a lot of plastic going on keeping everything together. Some of these are fake, just like cardstock images of examples of what you could put on the different shelves. And uh, there's plastic that's holding these earrings in and then holding the chair with that and some rubber bands. And there's a little plastic piece down here too that the chair is on. So we might as well start with that. You guys are all here for the clothes. I know it. I'm here for the clothes too. But we need to look at everything. So this is what the chair looks like. It's a clear plastic with gold legs. And it can, I'm sure, comfortably seat a Rainbow High doll like so. The idea is that they can sit in front of the mirror in the closet and choose their outfit for the day and their accessories and everything. If you are interested in getting the Rainbow High dorm house that's going to be coming out soon, I'm not. But if you were, this would be a good thing to put inside of it. Okay, so from the back going forward, of course, we have the big mirror. There's no protective film on it. So, you know, you're gonna get fingerprints. There's my light bulb, my poor excuse for a light in the closet. I really need to invest in a ring light. That is the mirror. It is very reflective. It's not just like a phony mirror. Everything here is fake except for these earrings. Oh, the shelves are removable. How interesting. So I guess if you wanted to store something taller, you could actually remove the shelf from 
from here or from this side if you wanted to store something taller there. It would be even cooler if there were more slots that you could adjust the shelves to different heights, but so this is what the middle part looks like empty. I mean, you've got a lot of room here and I believe you can get at least two rainbow high dolls in here and close it. So here's Kaya and Violet and oh yeah. You can get two dolls in here standing up. I think if you put the chair laying down behind them under where the mirror is, you could fit the chair in as well and then you can take them with you. Although I can't imagine who is going to take this gigantic bulky thing with them anywhere, but it can be done. Okay, so here's the earrings. I'm not gonna bother taking them off yet. They're gold, they say RH. They're little dangly earrings. They have like silver looking studs on them. So the dangly parts are a chain and then they have studs to make it look like they have jewels in them. It's just painted silver though. Now I have to try to remove the shoes from this side. I just wanna make sure I get all the plastic. To okay, I'm gonna admit there's a lot of plastic and tape in here. See like the shoes over here oh, are like really stuck in. You gotta remove everything. It's a bit of a hassle. And not only that, it's a bit of a waste of materials. At least this whole closet wasn't inside a whole box, so that was good. They utilized the fact that it was clear. We could just reduce some of the plastic. I think Rainbow High is probably the most <laughs> wasteful out of all the doll lines at this point, but I just can't help but loving them because they're so, so pretty. And that's part of why I wanted this closet. Their clothes are always amazing. The shelves on the other side are also removable, as you can see. And it just slides back in there, and this shelf is also removable. Now obviously in the same way that the Avery set had clothes for each of the girls, or representing each of the girls, this closet does sort of the same thing. So this is the first pair of shoes that are for Ruby, obviously. They are strappy high heels. The insole says rainbow. It's hard to hold the shoes and also get the camera to focus. Stop looking at me, no one wants to see me. The whole red part of it has a little bit of sparkle to it. I don't know if it'll pick it up because it's very subtle. And then this part is almost like a gold watch that goes around the ankle on the top of the shoe and has an RH because everything at Rainbow High has to have an RH on it. Then we have Poppy's shoes, which are orange heels that also go around the top of the ankle with butterflies on the outside. There's a little buckle on this side. The bottoms are gold. They're not really like orange orange. They're very, very pale orangey, leaning towards peach. And then we have Sunny's shoes and they are pretty basic, just like platform sandals that are yellow on the bottom with a really chunky heel. The backs say rainbow on the back of the heel in rainbow lettering. And I'm really loving that they keep throwing these little splashes of rainbow color into Sunny's things. And they have little triangle buckles and the straps are clear. Then on the other side, there are no shelves on this side, but there is one of those trunks and I love this trunk already. Right now all my rainbow high clothes are scattered in the big palm that comes with the Nanana -na -na Ultimate Surprise. And it's okay storage, it's just that I would love to have them hanging up and have all the shoes nice and accessible because they're also mixed in with my OMG clothes. On top of the trunk, we have a purse, which is something that we seem to be seeing more of. It's a nice quilted fabric, a little bit shiny, kind of like pleather, and it Velcros at the front with a little Velcro clasp. Ooh, it actually spreads really wide so that you can fit stuff in it. I don't know what you would put in it because they don't really have a lot of accessories. The inside of the top is lined, but the lining stops going into the purse itself. And then we've got gold RH on the outside and rainbow stitching, and then the strap. I'm gonna be really careful getting this strap out from the plastic because I don't want it to, 
to break. It's not a super durable material and you can see it's fraying a little bit already in some places. And then we've got gold around the holes where the strap comes out. And these are embroidered, the RH and the little holes where the strap is. So it's really nice. <sighs> if it seems like there's long pauses in this video where I'm rambling about stuff, it's because it's being, it's a, a chore to get this stuff out of here. Once I have everything separated for the first time, it won't be so difficult to get everything in and out. But when you're first buying this, it's difficult, especially because the closet itself is flopping all over the place because it's so huge. So this trunk is similar to the trunk that was seen in the Avery style set and kind of mirrors the look of the closet in that it's clear. It has the stitching like a suitcase on the outside and the little, I don't know what you call those, but you know, the gold accents on the corners, the rainbow high, and it opens from the top like that. These are the shoes that represent Jade. They are like those sock shoes that some people have. They, it says rainbow on the side and the soles are green. There's a little texture there. I don't really like them. One of the reasons I don't have a Jade right now is because I'm not really into her particular style. The winter break jade looks really nice, but I want to hold out and see if they do a runway line because I loved her runway look. These are Skylar's shoes. They are simple, I guess I would say periwinkle blue pu uh, pumps. And they have silver R's and they say rainbow all around. They have black heels and soles. Very neutral. I would say I think these would pair well with a lot of different pieces from this and from other Rainbow High dolls. Finally, our last pair of shoes are Violets, and as we can see here, she's incorporating a little more rainbow into her look too, because each of the shoes has three of the rainbow colors, and they just look like platform converse, basically. They have the Rainbow High logo on the side where the converse logo would go and they have painted laces, and then of course the base shoe is purple. Some of the paint on the divots is not great. Oh, there's a little purple smudge on the bottom of this one. But the bottom, I just noticed on the soles, says rainbow high in gold. Like obviously these are supposed to be violets because they're purple, but I can't imagine her wearing sneakers like this. Like from all the things that she's worn so far, these don't really match her style. Okay, now we get to get into the best part, the clothes. Ah! <laughs> this is gonna be great! Uh, they're just, ugh, ugh! The hangers uh, that the clothes are on are under kind of a plastic piece that is stuck in with those little two-part ties that I don't like. This is gonna be another ordeal to get out. All right, so now we can see what the closet looks like totally empty. The rods that hold the hangers are just plain gold rods. And now I can finally put it aside. So I wanna make note here that the little things that I don't like were actually under the rod. So they kind of threaded it through the plastic under and out through the other side. So you have to like reach in under there with scissors and carefully, without potentially snipping any of the clothes, snip those things off. Kids who get this are gonna have a really hard time getting this stuff out of this. I think they could have packaged it a lot better on the inside, especially because everything is contained inside. So I don't think they needed half of the containment plastic that they use, but it's all out now, it's all over, I just, I don't know why I picked that up. It's time, finally, to look at the clothes. Let's look at this one because I have it in my hand. This is obviously supposed to be Jade's because it's green, and it's definitely her style. Now this I like. I love sweatshirts, as I've said a few times now, I like winter clothes, things that are warm and snuggly. So having another sweatshirt is great. This one is bigger than some of the other ones like this way that we've gotten so far because some of them are like crop sweatshirts. And so it's a color block and it says rainbow. So you got your little pull strings. <gasps> they work! 
Oh, that is so cool! <laughs> Pull strings for the hood that you can't actually get on the head! <laughs> uh, but still, it's really nice. It's a nice sweatshirt-like material. Not the thickest sweatshirt you can find, but something for a nice cool day, maybe 60 or 70 degrees. Um, the inside looks like this, and it has the lining along the bottom that is like an actual sweatshirt, which I really like. Now, let's go back to the beginning of the rainbow. Oh, no! <laughs> These two are attached to each other. Why? Oh, and now there's a hole in here. You can kind of, with this kind of material, smush them out and they're hidden, especially because there's a pattern on it, but it's still annoying. So anyway, this is Ruby's little jumper thing. Ah. Uh, I, it's not my style. I don't wear anything one piece like that because I don't like the idea of having to take it down to go to the bathroom. But it's still, you know, it does look like her style because she's obviously into the phony Supreme Sparkle brand. There are little plastic gold buckles at the top here. There's some frayed stitching, but I can snip those. A real little chest pocket that's cute and then there's little hearts and shooting stars besides the RH's spread throughout the pattern this is like a canvasy kind of material it would pair well I think with a t-shirt and there's a real pocket here too on the side and both sides actually have real little pockets it's a nice piece even if it's not something that I particularly would wear I could definitely see Ruby in this. This is a Bella skirt, and again, I could definitely see Bella wearing this. It's similar in material to the jumpsuit, but it's a little bit thinner. But there's like silver filigree, is that what it's called? It's silver with like a little rainbow reflection in it, but it says RH, and there's little lines. There's a little metal or plastic, probably, button. Actual belt loops, always good. Actual pockets. And underneath there is the little strap to hold it onto the leg. And uh, this, <laughs> this I think is kind of like an insult to Bella right here. This shirt says, Rainbow High, no social media, thank you. And has a camera with a red circle through it. It kind of makes me wonder, and I think this is something that people have wondered before, how does Violet get away, and Karma get away with having social media presences where they document stuff at Rainbow High, yet Bella takes one picture of her work, and that's it. And Violet has a social media focus, I think? So this is not like it's unrelated to what she's doing at Rainbow High. It's pretty much what she's doing at Rainbow High. So how come she and Karma get away with it? Anyway, we won't try to figure out the logic of a cartoon series based on doll lines. This is just a simple white graphic tee. It is a nice cottony material and has a Velcro. It's pretty long too and it had a white hanger to go with it. So. That wasn't really targeted for any one specific person, although I feel like it's kind of like calling Bella out on what she did. Oh, I didn't even realize this is a sweater! That is so cool! <sighs> so, that was close. I had to really carefully dissect this piece from the hanger and the dress form to make sure that it didn't get runs because it is an actual swe sweater material. This is so nice and soft, though. So this is Poppy's piece. It's a sweater dress with a little turtleneck part that Velcros. So this is the only part that opens at the top here, and then the rest you would just slip on, but it's very stretchy, so that should be no problem. And of course it has the monarch motif to it. It is really soft. I love it. I need sweaters in my life. I love sweaters. So this is Sunny's little jacket, and it says rainbow, it says sparkle, magic, just a lot of graffiti words. Some of the letter bubbles, like, like the inside of the R right there, has a color in it, so some of the other ones have different colors. There's some little silver studs to be fake buttons. Not real pockets on this one, just pocket flaps, but honestly, you couldn't put anything in a pocket like that anyway. <laughs> All right, so next, these pants. 
I'm a little worried about the pants because I actually have the blue pants with the silver in them from the Avery set and they don't fit. I cannot get any of the dolls to sit down while they're wearing those pants. They pop open and it looks ridiculous. Any pants that come on the dolls already are okay because they're already formed to the doll and stretched out, but any pants that don't, so far, I haven't been able to fit. So here's the pants. They have faint checker pattern on the legs, of course, real back pockets, but they're very stiff, so you might only be able to get like a finger in there and they velcro in the back, and the belt is a separate piece. Looks almost like caution tape. Yeah, caution. Do not enter these pants. And suddenly everything became dirty. You know, I will say too about these pants, the bottoms are not hemmed or anything, and you can see there's some fraying already. I wouldn't play with the bottoms too much because you might wind up getting really short shorts after a while. These pants, I love, oh. I love the sleek and then the just the rainbow. I guess these are supposed to be like Amaya's pants, I would think, since it kind of echoes her cheerleader uniform. All right, so <laughs> these might be my favorite piece so far. These pants are like a light canvas kind of denim and they have rainbow lacing through the legs, but behind the laces, you can barely see, but there's like a shiny fabric. Like, it's like they ripped a hole in them and then they patched it on the inside with the fabric and then weaved the lacing into it. Oh, I love it. It's so nice. And then all the stitching details are rainbow all the way around the seams and the bottom and the pockets, which of course real back pockets. These pants, I, I love them. I love them so much. This is the inside of the leg, so that's what you find behind the lacing on these pants. All right, so this is another piece that's kind of like not specific to any one character. This is just this little cropped black t-shirt with more of that gold printing. It says rainbow on it and then the RH. It reminds me of Hercules, so you can see how it's almost, almost like it's supposed to be like a fraternity or sorority kind of shirt, because it's got that Greek style to it. Okay, last but not least, we have this little number, which is for Violet. This is a little more edgy than what Violet has worn in the past, but I like it. It's this frayed material. I don't know what to call this either, but the edges of the sleeves and the bottom are frayed. The inside is lined with some satin, but it doesn't go into the sleeves. There's some silver embroidery around the edges in the front, I'm trying to let you guys see that. You can see right here. It's hard to tell because it kind of blends into everything else, but it's like an embroidered chain that goes around here, around the neck, and then down to the other side. Now that we have seen everything separately, it is time for a fashion show. So I am gonna be right back with all the girls. Okay guys, everyone is dressed and ready to model their clothes. So let's start with Ruby who is wearing the little jumpsuit. Like I said, it definitely goes with her style. She's just got her regular sparkle t-shirt underneath that she came with. The thing about the Rainbow High dolls is they're so color themed that it's hard sometimes to dress them in things that don't match their color scheme, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. But Ruby definitely looks good. It definitely matches her look. And then here's the shoes on her, looking fab. Now, when I said about the color, Kaya is in the orange dress, and first of all, I didn't realize this until I put it on, but it really makes her look hippie, I guess just because of the way that the pattern is right here in this area, and how snug the fit is. I mean, it still looks nice, it's kind of like a dress down moment, but yeah, I feel like the orange doesn't really go with her reflection and her hair color and everything, but I needed another model. And then these are the shoes. The shoes look nice. I like the shoes against her skin, but not really the dress. I'm just showing you because you, you know, I want you guys to see how it fits. Then we have Sunny, who I think, I love this outfit that I put together. I had the purse on her. I kind of have it slung over the shoulder and her little finger holding it there, but 
yeah, I definitely like this look that I put together for her the most. She's got the rainbow stitched pants, the t-shirt, and then the jacket, and her high-heeled sandals. The thing is, the only problem is, while this looks amazing on her, it's exactly what I feared with sitting down. The pants do not close, and it's the same for the the other jeans, they can't stay closed when they're sitting down. And it's such a shame because, you know, you're not always gonna pose the doll standing up. And I mean, you can't see it from the front, but what if you, you know, wanted a shot from the back for some reason, then you're gonna see her underwear sticking out. From this angle though, it looks good, and I really like the way it all comes together. I might leave her in this, even though the pants don't fit perfectly. They really gotta work on that. They gotta either make the pants wider or stretchier. So here's Violet, and of course she's also got some plumber butt going on but she's wearing the black t-shirt, and then the jacket, the jeans, and the sneakers. And all together, I think this look really pulls together well, even though it's not something I can imagine necessarily Violet picking out for herself. I do like it. I, I think that these pieces go well together for anyone, really. Um, it's these neutral colors like the blacks and the blues and the whites that are more versatile, but this is a really nice casual look. This is a good one just because of the implications here. Okay, so that's a problem. I want to mention that first. I put the earrings on Bella, and they are really, really loose. It just fell out again. I don't know if it would work better in someone else's ear holes, but as of right now, like, you know, you can just see how much it's moving around. I'm just gonna take them out because I don't want to lose them. Another note is that when I was detaching them from the plastic, I had to snip the plastic itself where they were. You couldn't slide them up or down to get them out. Just be careful, don't pull on them too much because they'll probably break. Bella, besides that, is wearing the hoodie and the skirt, and these actually go surprisingly well together. And then she's got the shoes. The shoes look a little awkward from the back because the dolls don't have ankle joints and these are flat shoes. So you can kind of see that the heel is sticking out, but I like the concept of Bella wearing her girlfriend's hoodie because, you know, we stand Jella in this closet. There's a joke there that I'm not gonna make. And finally, there weren't any clothes pieces left, but there was one pair of shoes, so Winter Break Violet has on the blue shoes, and they actually look really good on her. And unlike some of the other pumps, like Kaya's rainbow pumps, I found were always falling off her feet. These actually fit pretty well. So we got improvement in the shoes. We just need improvement in the pants. This was a lot. This was a lot to take in. There was a lot of stuff going on, which is why it costs $60. If you're the kind of person who loves having the option to change doll clothes, and you need something that's really pretty to store your doll clothes in, this is a really good option for you. You get so many versatile pieces that you can mix and match with existing pieces. For the most part, everything fits all the dolls except for the pants, but that's an issue that we already had in other sets. The cons that I found in particular was just how much unpacking of everything that needed to be done. Every hanger had one of those little snippy things that you had to do, sometimes more than one, sometimes awkwardly placed, sometimes through the clothes, which could potentially leave holes if you're not careful. And then of course, just in general, having all of the plastic pieces that were holding things up for display, it's not anywhere near the amount of plastic that there is in a regular Rainbow High doll box. Some of it didn't seem totally necessary. Could have replaced it with some rubber bands. That would be much easier to unbox because I feel like kids are gonna get really frustrated and then it's gonna, gonna become the parent's job to open everything up and Bella's like, oh I know, isn't it terrible? The other thing that might deter you from getting this is just the massive size of it. And honestly, even though I love that I'm gonna be able to store my stuff really nicely in here, I don't know where I'm gonna put this because it's gonna take up way too much room here inside the closet. And it's also getting a little bit scratched already on the plastic just from all of the scissors and, oh yeah, that was definitely from my scissors. If you are the kind of person who keeps your dolls in their original clothes and never changes their clothes, then maybe this isn't the thing for you. But I wanna make sure you guys had all the information, saw all the pieces up close, and I wanted to, of course, show off some of my styling 
I really like this. <laughs> I can't get over this. With all that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like Rainbow High in general, you might consider subscribing to me because I love Rainbow High a lot, so I'll be doing a lot of Rainbow High content. If you could share this video, that would be excellent because I would really love to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I might be posting some pictures of these guys in their outfits just for some up close looks. And yeah, I think that is everything. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!